guys, it's Kendall. Welcome back to my channel. We're now doing things the K-Biv way. Um, I don't know if you can see this little guy here, but this is my son, Miles. Um, today, I filmed a highly requested tutorial. I think in my last crochet tutorial, I might have let you guys know to let me know whether or not you wanted to see how I make these bottoms. You did let me know that you did want to see it. So, yeah, I delivered. Finally, I've been really busy with a project that is coming up. Um, really really soon so I'll probably share more details with you guys on that and that'll probably provide a lot more uh, tutorials because I do have some brand new items that I just can't wait to share so yeah I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial let me know what you think as always if you have questions let me know in the comments down below I did get a new um, kind of setup background um, it was pl it's plain white um, I tried to go as slow as I could, so yeah, I really hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. So here I'm just going to make a slip knot. You basically just want to fold that yarn over and make a loop for a little fishy. Then you want to fold it on top of the string of yarn and pull the string of yarn through the hole. If you need to go back and watch that, you definitely can. Take your hook, insert it into your yarn. I like to do an extra little slip knot just for a little bit of security at the beginning of my chain. And I'm just going to chain 30. If you need to do more because you have a bigger butt, we just want more coverage then that's fine too now you just want to take your chain of 30 or more or less and you want to turn your work i'm using a half double crochet for this pattern for this bottom um and you just want to go into the second chain away from the hook we are going to be decreasing to create that triangular shape for the bottom so you don't want to go into the first stitch you want to half double crochet into the second stitch and go all the way over to the other end and to half double crochet you basically just want to wrap your yarn around the hook insert it into the chain wrap your yarn around again pull through one wrap your yarn around the last time and pull through the remaining three So now that you've hopefully made it to the other side, you just want to pick up your yarn and turn your work, which basically means just turning it around so you can crochet back to the other side. And I always like to include that spare stray yarn and just yarn it through. So now you're just going to skip the first chain again and half double crochet all the way to the other side. You should see a little decrease at this point, a little bit of the triangular shape starting to come in. But as you continue to half double crochet back and forth, back and forth, decreasing, that triangular shape will start to come in definitely. I just like to go with the flow with crochet because everybody's bottom, everybody's top is not the same. So if you did have to make a wider bottom just because you want more coverage or you have a wide hips or anything like that, you might need to skip a couple chains within the um, crochet patterns. I usually don't like to do mine at the very end. I like to do it somewhere in the middle if I just need to skip one, if I'm trying to do a Brazilian style child, if I just want to change things up or depending on the size that I need for my customer. Um, sometimes I just like to skip a couple of loops within the row. It won't make a huge of a difference if you only do two or three, but if you need that resource, it is there for you. So I'll 
just keep an eye out for how fast my decrease is happening because you also do want to take notice of the fact that eventually you will have to make the part that goes across your crotch um, or your vagina. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we might be all women here. So um, for that part, I like to use five across and I just keep going with the five. So five to the left, five to the right. And I do that about seven or eight times and that works for me but again hold it up to yourself see what works for you um, and that will create the part that will cover your lady parts as we can so eloquently call them um, so yeah I'll show you in just a few seconds what mine looks like and hopefully you can do that as well so yours will look like mine but also fit your body <music> So here you see that I've gone back and forth maybe five or six times and I'm just going to do a couple more again using um, five half double crochets going back the other way just to create the middle part for me. But then eventually you want to start the part that will actually cover the front of your body and after doing five you just want to chain one or two across. And then just continue working back the half double crochet. It might be a little harder because you're going into a single um, chain instead of a half double crochet. But make it work. Make sure that you add those two on the end so you can start to increase instead of decreasing like we did at the beginning. <music> You don't have to add one or two every single time you really just want to do it for the first one add two the first time you increase you want to add two and then as you continue to go across you can just go into the very very last chain um, or you can add one but I don't like the front of my pyramid bikini to be too wide um, but that's just me <laughs> So again, here at the end, you can see that I'm not going to go across two. I'm really just going to add one or go into the very, very last one. And that will create a slight increase as well. And I'm just going to turn my work and work into the very, very last one also instead of increasing another one.
just be a regular bikini bottom if you wanted it to be um but we are going to take it just a step further to create that triangular pyramid if you will um style in the front so you're just going to turn your work again um and start to decrease again to create the triangle so you're just going to do what you did at the beginning um i'm just going to go into the second chain from the hook turn your work and continue to do that just go into the second chain every time you turn right so if you have been following my direction you should have your triangle it should be finished you just want to go back a couple more times and finish it off you can leave it like that I think that's really cute as well or you can just do a couple more half double crochets at the top to um, make it a little bit more pointy and then I'm just going to chain one and I'm gonna clean up those rugged edges with um, some single crochets so just going into with going into the chain with my hook wrapping the yarn around and pulling through the two that are on the hook um, and that's just going to make it look more neat than just showing all your stitches and all your business <laughs> doing that all the way around the entire bottom I'm just going to finish off at the top and then I will create one of the chains that will be used to secure the bottom and um, tie to the other ties that will make this bottom come together because you can't just wear it like it is you have to be able to tie it to the other side so your stuff is not out <laughs> get to the top you could just chain 50 that works for me and my hips you might need to do less or you might want to do more depending on how long you want your strings to be I like to do a strings on these but you also can add four more if you want to depending on the look that you want to go for so I just create another slip knot and then I take it, um, take the hook, insert it into wherever I want the um, string to come out of. So I'm just going to do um, this part right here that you see me going into with my hook. And then I'm just going to create a chain of 50 right on this edge. So I've done the strings where I want them. Um, hopefully yours came out a little bit like this or the way that you wanted it to. I'm very happy with the way that it came out. Again, I am dropping a spring summer collection. So follow my Instagram page, which I'll show you guys in a few seconds. But you might just want to take your scissors and get rid of some of those ends. I think you could probably see that one there, but I'm just going to snip those off. 
to make it look a little bit more neat and presentable whenever I'm ready to wear it. But ultimately, guys, I love this bottom. It just adds a little bit more sass um, than the regular bottom. And I think it looks great with any handmade crochet top. page you can see that i made these bottoms for this beautiful beautiful woman her name is esther so go check out my instagram page here's another one um her name is Haley. here's something that i made for a customer that i just really love the color concept of and i have so many more tops bottoms dresses anything that you could think of on my instagram page so follow me there let me know what you think as always like comment and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one Bye.